Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I watched during the month of February, so stick around. Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I watched during the month of February. I was able to watch at least one film every single day. If you want to, look for, if you want to follow along with me, I'm going to be going off of my Letterboxd account. I do have that one linked down below. So first up, now I'm, I'm going to just kind of let you know if I liked it or not. Some of these films I may not even remember, um, but I, at least I have it logged on my Letterboxd account, so I can at least tell you if I liked it or not. So first up, um, I watched Suspect. This right here um, has Cher and Dennis Quaid in it. Really good film. Um, I gave it two stars and a heart. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed it. Definitely recommend you check it out. Next up, I watched Murphy's Law. Um, this one I gave two stars, no heart. It was okay for what it was. It was a little bit long um, and slow. And I really had a hard time getting into it. Next up, I watched House on the Edge of the Park. This one I gave one star, no heart. Um, this right here was a home invasion type film. Um, it, I, I just couldn't get into it. It was a little bit over the top. I didn't really care much for it. Then I watched this Arrow release for um, Bloodhound. I've had this one in the collection for a while. I gave that one two stars, no heart. It could have been so much better. I thought it was going to go in one direction, but it never did. Um, overall, I thought it was a pretty good story, but never got to where it needed to go for me. Okay, next up I watched The Deeper You Dig, another Arrow release. I gave this two and a half stars and a heart. Really enjoyed this one. It was really dark and moody. Um, really good story. I highly recommend you check that one out. Then I watched another Arrow release, um, The Passion of Darkly Noon. This right here has Brendan Fraser in it, Ashley Judd and Viggo Mortensen in it. I gave it one star, no heart. It was a very weird story. I wasn't really in the mood for what I was watching. It was really out there, strange, um, but if you think you might be interested in that, just check it out. Okay, next up I watched Wolf Creek. Wolf Creek I really enjoyed. I gave this one three stars and a heart. Really good story. Um, it's been recommended to me for many, many years. Finally took the time to watch it, and it was worth the watch, so definitely check that one out. Next up I watched The Flintstones. Um, it had been a long time since I'd seen the Flintstones. I wanted to check it out again. <clears throat> I gave it two stars and a heart. I do remember seeing this one in the theater back when my son was young. And we really enjoyed it. I think it holds up pretty well. I think the um, CGI looked great. And the story was fun. So I highly recommend you check that one out. Next up I watched Love is the Devil. Study for a Portrait of Francis Bacon. This right here was a terrible movie. Didn't give it any stars, no heart. I did not like it at all. Um, someone had recommended this for me. And off of their recommendation, I watched it. But I do not recommend anybody else watch it. It was not good for me. Next up, I watched Fargo. Fargo gets four stars and a heart. I really love Fargo. It had been a long time since I had seen Fargo. And I wanted to check it out again. And it was amazing as always. Highly recommend that one. Next up, I watched The Last Stand. This right here was another recommendation. I had never seen this one before. Already had it in the collection. This one got three stars and a heart. I really enjoyed it. Great action film, great story, great characters. Um, highly recommend you check it out. Next up, I watched another Arrow release, Fear is the Key. Um, this one I gave two stars, no heart. I don't really... Couldn't, it was, it was car chases, and story the story was about a kidnapping, and I don't know, it was really dated. I, I, didn't, I couldn't get into it. I didn't really enjoy it, so I do not recommend it. Okay, next up, I watched this three-film collection over the next three days. I watched Open Water. I gave it two stars, no heart. I enjoyed it for what it was, but it was very poorly acted, and I just didn't enjoy it. Um... Part 2, which was Open Water Adrift, I gave two stars and a heart. I really enjoyed that one. That one was a... I think that was the one where... I, I can't keep them all separated. Anyways, it got two stars and a heart. I really enjoyed that story. And then the third one was Cage Dive. I gave it one half star. 
it was terrible. I didn't like it. So out of, out of all three of these films, um, just the second one was good for me. The, overall, they were okay. There wasn't enough shark in any of these films. Um, and the only one that was decent was the second one. Okay, next up, I watched Bad Lieutenant. This right here was another recommendation. I gave it one star, no heart. Um, this one had been recommended for quite some time. I finally took time to watch it, and I didn't care much about it. Um, I think Harvey Keitel, I believe that's who that is, did a good job. But the story wasn't for me, so I didn't really enjoy it. Next up, I watched The Towering Inferno. This right here is a 70s watch. I gave this one two stars and a heart. I enjoyed it for what it was. I, I was going into it with higher expectations. Um, but overall, it's a good story, a good um, disaster film. But not one of my favorites. Okay, next up, I watched The Marvels. Um, this right here had just been released on Steelbook. So I decided I would watch it. I didn't see this one in the theater. I, I had heard so many bad things about it. But I did give it two stars and a heart. I enjoyed it for what it was. It wasn't a terrible film, but it definitely was not my favorite. Okay, next up, I watched A Single Man. This right here uh, stars Colin Firth and Julianna, Julianne Moore. I gave this one two stars and no heart. I think it was well acted. I enjoyed the story for the most part. Um, but I just really couldn't get into it. But definitely check it out if you think you might if you think you might be interested. Next up, I watched Annabellum. I gave this one three stars and a heart. I wasn't very sure what I was getting into whenever I watched this one. I wasn't sure what the story was about. Um, but I did enjoy it for what it was. Great storytelling, and um, the second half was very interesting. Highly recommend you check it out. Next up, I watched Weird. Weird, the Al Yankovic story. I get this from Two Stars and a Heart. I was really hoping more of a more to life documentary type film or um, biopic. But I didn't like the way that they took. I didn't like the direction that they took on this one. It wasn't true to life, over exaggerated. But as far as the story goes, it was okay. I wish it would have been more closer to the real story. Um, next up, I watched Ten to Midnight. This one got two and a half stars and a heart. This right here is another recommendation. Really enjoyed this story. It's a really good thriller. And I thought it was very well acted. And it kept me entertained. Next up I watched Bug. I gave this one two stars. No heart. This right here was a weird story. Um, it had Ashley Judd in it. And someone else that I don't even remember. Um, but either way, it was weird. And... I don't know, chaotic. Had a hard time getting into it. So it got two stars. Next up I watched Dark Man for the first time. I had never seen this one before. Really enjoyed this one. Great story. Um, it was dated, but still the story was great. And I really enjoyed Liam Neeson's performance. Highly recommend you check it out. Next up I watched Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, that one got two stars, no heart. I was really hoping for more of the violence and more of the kills and it just never got there for me. Maybe the sequel will do more, I don't know. But overall it was just okay. Next up was another first time watch and that was for The Last Castle. This one got four stars and a heart. I love this film. I can't believe I never heard of it before until this release. Highly recommend you check it out. This right here is one that's definitely worth having in your collection. Next up, I watched Leviathan. This right here is another first time watch. This one got three stars and a heart. Um, I really enjoyed the story. No, I was not familiar with that one at all. And so very happy to have that one in the collection. Definitely worth a watch. <clears throat> Next up, I watched Priscilla. This one got two and a half stars and a heart. Um, as far as Priscilla goes, I thought it was an okay film. Um, I kind of wish that it would have went a little bit further in her life, um, not just the early years. Um, I think the performances were great. Um, as far as being Elvis and Priscilla, I think the Elvis performance was pretty good at times. Um, but either way, it wasn't my favorite, but it was okay. Next up, I watched Suspiria. I gave this one and a half stars, no heart. It was okay for what it was. 
Um, it looked great. It sounded great on 4K. I thought it was a great um, presentation. Story-wise, I didn't really care for the story. I didn't really care for the characters. So, I, you know, it wasn't one of my favorites. Then the last one was a second time watch. I hadn't seen this one since the theater. And I watched Room. Really enjoyed this film. Great performances by everybody involved. Great story. Um, I gave that one three and a half stars and a heart. If you've never seen Room before, definitely check it out. It's worth the watch. So those are all the titles that I watched during the month of February. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the titles that I watched. And also let me know what you were able to watch. And even some of the recommendations that you may have for me to watch here in March or April. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on X. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I have all of those linked down below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.